What's up guys, Kwezi here bringing you guys another tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these cool little, uh, they look hand drawn logos I guess. Um, kind of like this cursive logo that I use. Um, I'm also going to show you how to kind of create your own font with this too, which is pretty cool. Um, so like an example would be like this, so it looks like hand drawn almost. Um, but like this, these are the examples I'm going to be showing you. And it's pretty simple. Um, usually, when I do these sort of things, I use my um, uh, my tablet to like draw on and stuff. But I actually left that up at school, and I'm home for a month, so I'm not gonna drive the drive the three hours up there to get it or whatever. So um, yeah, let's get right into this. Uh, you can use your tablet if you'd like, or you can go ahead and follow along and just use the pen tool with me. Which actually, I kind of find for this type of stuff or what I'm gonna show you it's actually a little bit easier to use the pen tool but yeah let's get right into it so I'm gonna hide this um, and basically if you're not good with uh, freehanding uh, letters and things like that uh, like maybe you're not uh, as good you need to like have an example or a reference one thing that I do uh, if I'm struggling with ideas usually I'll, I'll sketch them in a book first so I usually have that as a reference um, but you can simply go and find, uh, like just get a simple letter, whatever letter you're using. So in this case, a B, just get like some text, put a B there, make it pretty bi uh, big and just find a font that has like a cool look that you kind of want to copy the out, the, the shape to. So if you notice like this one is what I used for this B, just cause I thought it was a pretty cool looking B. Um, but yeah. So let's go ahead and use this as a reference and you can use whatever letter you'd like and follow along. Um, so I'm going to lock that layer that um, this letter's on so I can't edit it or anything. And then I'm going to create a new layer above it. And then I'm going to make sure my stroke is black and I don't have a fill. So you just want to click none for fill. And we want to go to the pen tool. And we're just going to go ahead and follow this along somewhat. You don't have to be exact. You just kind of want the general shape if you like it. Um, usually I end up making changes at the end, but I usually follow along uh, for the beginning part. So about boom. And let's swing this around. There we go. Then I'm going to command click and that's locked in there. And occasionally where the point is, it'll have like a little bit of a sharp like turn on it. This time this looks pretty smooth. But if it's kind of like a jagged uh, like transfer from the straight line into like the curve, one thing you can do is go to the pen tool, click and hold, go to anchor point tool, find that point, and just kind of modify it a little bit so it's like a little smoother. Now, I'm not going to do that because this actually worked out pretty well this time, so I'm just going to let that alone. But if you're having that problem, that's a way to fix it. Okay, so now we have that line for this part. Um, let's go and finish off this B. So, gonna get the pen tool again. And just kind of follow around. And we'll finish off there. And go into the next part. And finish off like that. Boom, command, click off. And I'm just gonna go to the uh, selection tool. Now let's go ahead and hide the original B. So now we have just this, and as you can see, it looks pretty stupid right now. Uh, but we're gonna change these uh, the settings around. So just select both of these um, pen tooled shapes or lines, and now we can play with some settings. So one thing you can do is play with the variable width profile. Um, so you could um, go something like this. Put it up to like 80, actually it's a little too much. 40, get something like that. Um, and depending on like what shape it's in, you might get different results and different looks and things like that. So like here, since this comes to a point, this segment's gonna extend off in most of these uh, variables. Um, so the one that I used for my logo was this one, which worked for my shape of the N. But as you can see, when it goes to this point, it creates this weird shape. And you can fix it, but it just takes a little bit and you might not get the look you like. So I'm just going to put that on uniform. And I'm going to go to this second section here, the brush definition. And you can actually create your own versions of these. And there's also a library full 
of different ones you can use. So like here's a Wacom one for the tablet and stuff. And that'll actually, that's what works with your, um, your brush when you draw it on the tablet. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and select the simple three point oval. And let's bring up the size to 16 maybe. Let's go a little more, 20. That's not bad. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what 40 looks like. Hopefully, it's a little too much. Somewhere in between. Let's go. Let's go about 30. That works. Um, and now I'm gonna play around with the shape. So this like looks a little too basic. I want to give it a little variety. So I'm gonna go ahead, select this point, extend it up. That's cool. Um, let's kind of bring this. Oh, wrong point. What? this point that's pretty cool and let's maybe do something like that so yeah that's a little neat um you could actually do a play on like JB here too that's actually a possibility but it's not really what I'm going for but this is a pretty cool looking bee um, I like it I'm not feeling how J ish this is that's actually a little better I like that all right, boom. So obviously you'd probably want to play around with this more. Um, the only reason I like this is because this is, has no purpose and it's kind of just like a free make. If this was my logo, maybe I wouldn't be satisfied. I want to tweak things. And you're probably going to make a bunch of different versions, uh, variations using different fonts. Like uh, like I use this one. You want to use a bunch of those to like find different things or hand draw them. Uh, which is usually what I do, but um, you just keep going until you find something you really like you really want to work with and then that's your final product but uh, one thing you can do um, is if I just Option duplicate this so we have that uh, If you want to make it like a hand-drawn look so you can have your logo use it for whatever but maybe some product or some things you make and you want to include your logo in it, you don't like the standard logo. You want like a hand drawn look. You want to go to the brush definition and you want to go to the library here. And where, let's see where it's at. Um, okay, you want to go to vector packs and hand drawn brushes vector pack. Um, so you want to select that and then that will pop up and uh, you might, I got a new window for it, but it also loads in here. So as you can see, there's a few uh, versions of this. Um, some of them look pretty bad, like that thin one's not too great. This one's pretty good, looks, uh, looks nice. Um, that one looks a little crazy. Uh, I don't know why that glitched like that. That one's pretty cool, uh, not too much. But yeah, so you can mess around with that. I don't know why that's glitching so bad. That's really odd. Uh, maybe if I just tweak it a little bit. Oh, that's even. There we go. See, now you can just mess around with that. Get cool, like hand drawn uh, logos and stuff. And then you can have a variation of the same logo style. And that's just really nice to have uh, if you want to use different things for whatever. Um, but yeah, guys, that's basically this tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I don't really do many Illustrator tutorials, but hopefully this was something you guys liked. Um, if you did, drop a like and share it on Twitter or whatever. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Quezzy. Uh, if you want any of my products, I do have a store. Link is in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.